Today, we're going to talk to Ben Hong. We're going to learn about how he got started in web development, what he's up to today, and what he'll be talking about at the upcoming Vue.js live conference. This video is sponsored by Git Nation. Be sure not to miss the Vue.js Live conference happening October 20th and 21st. Vue.js Live will be a remote conference with 35 speakers and more than 10,000 developers attending. There will be over 10 free and pro workshops included. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing libraries and projects. Learn from top Vue speakers, join live chat rooms, after parties, and fun activities. Discover the future of Vue and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off. Ben is a Vue.js core team member, staff DX engineer at Netlify, Vue mastery instructor, and Nuxt ambassador. Thanks for joining me today, Ben. Why don't you give everyone a quick introduction? Yeah, hey everyone. Uh, so yeah, as Jesse mentioned, um, I do a lot with the open source community, particularly with the Vue community, uh, but also just um, a big fan of the web as well. So I'm also a Google developer expert in web and map technologies. And so yeah, just happy to be here, uh, just to chat web things and talk about Vue. Yeah, awesome. Um, so why don't you give everyone just a quick um, background, like how did you get started in web development? What got you interested in it? Yeah, so my days of web dev actually harken back to when I think I was in middle school and uh, my dad had brought home a O'Reilly book that's HTML. And so it was like the first time I kind of opened it up and I was at the time starting to explore like sort of computers and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm going to enter this stuff in the notepad. And then, oh, like something changed, right? Mm -hmm. And that feedback loop, I think, was really what hooked me in. And so HTML and CSS was really like the first uh, foray into web dev. Uh, but at the time, I also learned about JavaScript. But I also I thought, well, if it's JavaScript, I need to learn Java before I learn JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And no one, unfortunately, was there to correct me. <laughs> so <laughs> um, that was a failed adventure. And I was like, you know what? Java is not for me. Therefore, JavaScript is not for me. And I mm -hmm. wouldn't touch uh, basically JavaScript for quite a few years. Um, but yeah, so as a kid, I was like, this is a really great hobby. And eventually it was a bit like oh like well this is fun but like you know this is not a job and gosh if only i could tell my younger self then mm. uh and it wouldn't be until basically uh after grad school where i started really looking into things where i was exploring becoming a u user experience designer um but at the time graphic design is not really my forte so it was like all right well i did really love this thing about web dev and like if i brought the ux with the front end how would that work out and kind of my career sort of started from there yeah, it's it's actually amazing how that that is a thing. And so anyone that's that's listening, don't be embarrassed by that. But like Java and JavaScript, they get um, uh, it's like a misconception that that they're the same thing or that they're different. You know, they are different. They're not the same thing. So uh, a lot of people get stuck on that. Um, yeah. So let's talk about the uh, the view uh, view JS London conference. Uh, first off. Have you seen that landing page, that animation on the beginning of it? <laughs> that is, cr I, that was the first time that I've, I've seen that animation. I, I've, apparently it's been around for a while, but yeah, uh, it's actually, amazing. Uh, one of the uh, original core team members, Chris Fritz, I believe he's the one who uh, helped to build that originally. Nice, nice. nice. Yeah, so uh, I, I thought that was that was crazy. I need to look in to see how that was actually built because it, it's, pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, um, at, yeah, at, at the conference, um, the title of your talk is uh, options API versus composition API, choosing the right approach for your team. So if someone's not familiar with the options API and composition API, can you give everyone just a high level quick overview of the situation there? Yeah, so um, basically in the Vue ecosystem up until Vue 3, uh, basically we were all working in what is officially known as the options API. In other words, whenever you were defining things about your components, about your app, you were basically passing an object, a config object, which is quite common with most libraries, and that's kind of what set things up, right? And so as a result, um, if you're in your component, for example, you would define where your reactive data lives, where your computer property lives, methods, and kind of so on. Um, and so in this regard, I think for those, you know, if you're watching coming from the React community, then you're thinking there's a bit more like class components where you have like kind of segmented places where things are kind of supposed to go because you're kind of following like kind of a more structured pattern. Um, on the other hand, for composition API, this is where a lot more freedom is introduced now because rather than saying, all right, data should go here, computer should go here, we're saying, we're giving you, we're gonna give you helper methods so you can design it however you wanna organize it. But on the other hand, this does mean that you have the freedom to do whatever. And as a result, there are kind of a lot more foot guns and you know, um, you know, a lot of that responsibility is now on you to make those good architectural decisions. Oh, okay. 
So at first glance, it seems like composition API is the way to go because it's like the newer, you know, tr trend or whatever. Um, <laughs> but it sounds like there is still a use case for options versus uh, uh, composition and that you need to kind of understand these to make that decision, right? Yeah, exactly. I think one of the sort of, I think, misleading things that came out originally around Vue 3 was people thinking that the options API, which they'd grown to love and use, had, was becoming deprecated. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things I still need. To, we kind of still need to fight that fire a little bit in that the options API is still 100% usable. It's supported at the core. And then composition API can be used as a complement. But certainly, as you kind of mentioned, it is the new technique. And so certainly a lot of buzz around it. And there's a lot to really love about it. But at the same time, that's not to say that it completely like makes options API like um, obsolete by any stretch of the means. Uh, it's just like understanding those alternatives and trade-offs. I think it's one of those key things that us as developers really need to get better at grasping rather than feeling like it's a winner take all like there's only one way to do things like understanding why we do things one way versus another i think that's what really helped us to mature our skills and judgment abilities for sure no that that makes total sense so we'll have to uh be sure to join the conference to get the entire talk and uh and get, get that full explanation there uh so yeah. before we wrap up is there anything uh, that we missed that you want to add or anything that you want to shout out anything at all um, yeah, so if anyone has any questions, uh, I do live stream on Twitch basically every week. So check out my site at bencodezen.io and you can find out all my information there. And I'm happy to always chat view Netlify Nux thing. So mm -hmm. thanks. Awesome. So be sure to join us October 20th and 21st at the Vue.js live conference. Be sure not to miss the Vue.js live conference happening October 20th and 21st. Vue.js live will be a remote conference with 35 speakers and more than 10,000 developers attending. There will be over 10 free and pro workshops included. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing libraries and projects. Learn from top view speakers, join live chat rooms, after party, and fun activities. Discover the future of Vue and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off.